Hi everybody, it's Sally with Vintage Discoveries here with some vintage jewelry haul. Uh, mostly necklaces that I picked up um, from some uh, eBay uh, auctions and also from some of our friends on YouTube. So this one's from eBay and it is a vintage... Um, not sterling and it's not turquoise but it is um goldette is the brand so it's you know looking like a squash blossom blossom <laughs> squash blossom but it is not um authentic uh sterling or anything like i said but still love it and uh, I, I really like Goldette's uh, jewelry, especially the bracelets, but this is in really good condition and it's just nicely made. It's marked Goldette, so I love that one. This one, I don't know, I've been obsessed with some big, chunky, lucite-looking uh, necklaces. This one is... Park Lane, that's what it's marked. It's very uh, chunky and kind of reminds me of an Art Deco building or a transformer. See, I'm gonna put it on here. This is humongous and this is dusty, but that's it. I wore it the other day with, I think I wore a black v-neck t-shirt and I have like a pinstripe blazer. Been into the blazers lately, but yeah. Isn't it cool? I love it. I really do. So I got that from eBay. And then I tried to win this necklace in cream color but I did not get it. So I went for the white. Um, I missed out on a good deal with the cream color one, the ivory, but the white is beautiful. I wore this today, actually. Um, I love it. It's Monet, vintage Monet, big, chunky, just this swirl of whipped cream. Love it. I wonder if it comes in black because I would like it in black and I would also love the um the ivory or cream i would love to have that one so if anybody has those colors let me know or if it's any other color um even navy or something that would be beautiful and then there was this one this is i believe also monet and it's not in the greatest of shape but i got this from ebay i like the design of it and it's gold with the off-white or cream and it's got the mesh it's got a little you know boo-boo here and there nothing major but love that so I got that then I got this one oh this is just really old and it's really short and it said two doves this is from eBay and it's um, a big piece of mother of pearl I dropped something and uh, I think it's beautiful in the summer or anytime um, love the colors in it like I said it was very it's very short I could put an extender I'm thinking about changing these actually because they're kind of really dull but I just like that bib look to it then I got this which I love even though my daughter said it looked like a big slug this is uh, Kenneth J. Lane I don't think it looks like a big slug I think it looks like a big piece of ambery 
goodness, look at that. Isn't that pretty? You could wear that with just about anything, right? I should have wore that today because I have like a like a camel color sweater. Mm -hmm. Yep, I love it. Love that. Oh, these nails. Did these with orange and silver. I got these at Big Lots for a dollar. I mean, I had to buy um, at Sally's Beauty. They have the sticky tabs because I don't like to use the glue. So, love that. Then, I got this one. I believe this is Trafari. Let me see. Is it Napier or Trafari? It's I Drop It. That's what it is. I want to say Napier, but I don't want to. It's so gold and shiny. It's Trafari. Gee whiz, Sally. Gee whiz. I'm all like nutty. I feel like I want to have coffee, but I probably better not. But I have to stay up because my daughter's at a party and I have to pick her up at 11. Let's back this up. Look at that. Chunky goodness. It's white and gold and like off-white cream color. Can't wait to wear that. I, I think I would wear it with a, a white v-neck t-shirt and my blazer. Right? Love that. Mm -mm -mm. And what else did I get? Oh, this I got from Kirsten Red Sales. You can check out her channel if you haven't yet and subscribe. Some turquoise with the bench beads, I believe they're called. If you want to take a look, look up. Nice chunks. I think that'll go nicely in the summertime. Then I got this from eBay. Oh my goodness. I love this thing. I'm going to put it on there. Look at this. I think it's like Austria. It's glass. I don't think it was marked with anything. This is the clasp. Let me see. No, just got a pretty clasp on it. It's got that brassy gold look to it. I think it's pretty old. And it's beautiful. See, remember I told everybody how much I don't like these velvety things? It's like, where is this stuff even coming from? But anyway, it's um, it's beautiful. Look at the way these are just juicy and delicious. Mm-hmm. That's really pretty. I love that so much. That was from eBay. And then, let's see, what else did we have? Oh, I got this one. I really like the style of it. I got this from my jewelry addiction. Uh, Tanya. I have it backwards. Or do I not? I just like the look of that collar with this and it has the little stones on the side. I just like that collar look. It's really pretty. It's very snazzy. And I made a necklace. I know I didn't finish my um, the one with the vintage watches because I just I changed my mind about what I wanted between. So still a work in progress. I did a horrible job on this. These are like little pink AB glass stones. And I haven't made anything in a long time. Look at this terrible job I did. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I even wore this. I like layered it with a bunch of different stuff. And I just did a bad job on it. But And I thought for sure I was doing it the right size. Because I used to oh, couldn't wear anything smaller than a size 20 um, neck. Bless. And I made this an 18. I said, oh, I'll go smaller since I lost a little weight. But it's still too long. I guess I can wear a 16. So, you know, 
my my idea was good. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, these uh, are all amazing. I love the styles of them. But if anybody has the Monet in uh, any other color, that would be cool if you let me know. Um, I love the white one, and I, I'm nutty over the cream color, but I'd also be interested if they do make a black one. Just reminds me of something delicious. And they're probably all gold tone. I think the cream is with gold, which is perfect. Love how that looks. Um, and this, this Kenneth J. Lane, this big slug of a love. And this, this is it. Oof, that's heavy. Definitely. But yeah, I was excited. You know, I don't know why I was on a um, necklace binge, but uh, I had gone to a little boutique with my daughter. We were looking at all different stores. And um, what happened was I saw a necklace I wanted. It was like a, a Mariner. Um, is that what it's called? Mariner, like anchor chain that I love. And it was turquoise in color, like enameled or whatever and I said oh my god I love that so there's no price I brought it up to the counter and she said she looked it up and it, she said it's 50 bucks I was like what why I didn't really say why I don't think I did I could have and so I just said all right I'll put that back so I thought if I could find some of my old chains I have tons of old chains maybe I could spray paint it on so I didn't find the Mariner, but I found this bracelet and I said, let me try it, you know, and I got some bare enamel spray paint that was good for metal, plastic, what have you. So I spray painted it. As you can see, I didn't do a very good job. It was my first time. I didn't get all the spots. I have to come up with a different procedure. So if you do it flat, you have to spray it and then... Like, if it's a sunny day, that's great. You have to wait till it dries, turn it over. I tried one chain hanging it, and it was just, no. So, if you got any ideas, because I, it stuck to the, um, the paper. I used parchment paper, you know, thinking it's not going to stick, but it did. So, I thought it was pretty cool, though. If I can do it right, you know what I mean? So, because I was really not happy about, even though I loved that little, and it was a small little anchor chain in this color, and it would look so nice layered with something, um, you know, for, the, I keep saying the summer, but, you know, with um, some a silver chain, a little pendant. So I was really excited about that, but. I am going to keep on trying because now I have that spray paint. So I need to give it a, a better shot. You know what I mean? And work on my watch necklace. I found this um, watch that I was looking for. This is, if you recognize the little symbol, the Silpata. And supposedly this is sterling on the top. And stainless steel on the back. It's got a pretty good um, leather strappy. I like it. It's got a little bit of a like a modern kind of rugged look to it. Another watch I found that I was looking for was this sterling watch. This I guess it doesn't matter what's in here. It's got like a mother of pearl face Tino or something. But um, this is, I think it says, let's see. I know it's Garcia, but I can't read the first name. Sterling. Can you read the first name on there? Oh my gosh, my eyes are so bad. See it? 
I'm going to trust that you can see it. <laughs> so I was looking for this one. Sterling cuff. Really cool. I'm imagining that anything around this size you could put in here. Because I don't know if it you know, exactly belongs in there. That it came with it or something. But I always thought it was so cool. And it looks really nice on. It's older, I think. And, you know, it's... Uh... I'm going to try it on. Oh, I think I tried it on upside down. It fits really nice. Got a little bit of room in there. I just think that's neat. For some reason. It's simple, yet it's really cool. But that's it for now. Um, I'm going to work on um, trying to put that together. My, uh, I put these two together. The, uh, the watch thing. I just, sometimes you feel creative and sometimes you just don't. You know what I mean? But this thing is beautiful. I don't know what I'm going to wear this with. But it's just something about it. But on that note, I'm going to go and hope you guys are having a great weekend. And I will talk to you soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.